Hello, I'm JJ. I'm part of the technical staff at Primer, and I'm here to introduce you to the web implementation of the new Primer Checkout. Most solutions force a choice, a rigid UI you can't change, or weeks of engineering to make it yours. Primer Checkout is built to be different, fast to set up, easy to customize, and designed to fit any brand. Let's build a checkout together so you can see just how simple it is to implement and make it your own. We'll start in the Primer dashboard. Before we write a single line of code, we configure which payment options customers will see in checkout. Here we can apply rules to tailor the experience by market, currency or customer type without code changes. Let's add PayPal and Venmo so they appear in the checkout flow. We hit publish and we are ready to go. Let's switch to our demo shop. The page is in React. Primer Checkout is built with web components, so it works in any stack, no framework-specific integration. We already have the order details in place, but the checkout area is empty. Let's change that. We install Primer Checkout with NPM. Then we import Load Primer. That's what initializes the checkout on the page. You need a client token to start a session. Fetch it from Primer APIs. It creates your checkout session. Now we add the Primer Checkout web component and pass the token. Press save. There it is, a working checkout out of the box, from zero to accepting payments in a few lines. Now that we are ready to accept payments, the page still doesn't feel on brand or consistent. In Primer Checkout, it is easy to make it your own. To avoid proprietary styling systems, we use a simple and familiar approach, CSS variables. We open index.css. We map our site's variables to the component variables. Clean, simple and easy to maintain. Save. Now, the spacing and typography scale correctly. Brand colors apply and the inputs and buttons align. And if you're using CSS in JS or another styling approach, you can also pass a config object directly. Now that we've got the styling sorted, let's focus on the layout. This is where Primer Checkout really shines. We can easily implement layout changes progressively and customize everything to our needs without weeks of custom engineering. Let's move PayPal to the top, since it converts best for this shop. We open the Primer Checkout web component. Inside, I will place PayPal first. Then, the card form right below it. And finally, the remaining dynamically rendered payment methods. All of this stays configurable from the dashboard we saw earlier. No extra setup or redeploys needed. Save. The layout updates instantly. Because these are web components, we can mix and match them with our elements and styling. We'll add a couple of custom containers, a bit of spacing and simple headings for clarity. Safe. Now, the layout is clean, branded and easy to scan, built around what actually drives conversion. Now, let's take layout control a step further. Just like with payment methods, we can customize what happens inside the card form and build exactly what we need. We'll swap generic primer payment method for the primer card form. That gives us 
direct control over the internal layout. Inside the card form, I will start adding our own containers. Then, place the dedicated web components for each input. First the card number field, then CVV right next to it. Followed by expiry date, card holder name, and finally the submit button. Save. With just a few lines of code, we streamlined the entire card form. CVV sits next to card number, fewer eye movements, faster entry. We also aligned the expiry date and card holder name on the same line, making the whole form more compact and efficient. Now for some final touches. The default submit button doesn't match our brand, so we'll use our own button component. To make it work, its type is submit and it lives inside the card form. We can also render a button outside the form and still trigger submission, but that's a story for another demo. And since this is a fully composable checkout, we can even add our own form elements to the flow. We'll add a discount code input. The logic runs on our side. The experience stays seamless. Now we have a fully customized card form. Our layout, our button, our extra field, all working perfectly within the checkout flow. In only a few minutes, we went from an out-of-the-box checkout to a fully customized branded experience, tailored card form, clean layout, and a flow built to convert. And we've only scratched the surface of what's possible with Primer Checkout. If you'd like to learn more, check out our documentation or reach out to our team. We would love to help you get started.